So, this is the uh, famous Green Drive at the top of the Burbage Valley. Absolutely beautiful part of the Peak District. And if we look down there, we can see the track disappearing into the bottom of the valley there, Burbage North on the left. Remains of the plantation down there in the bottom. And then the sun's blowing, the sun's shining fully on it. You can't really see you at all and cars walk to the right. So the green drive will be pretty wet today, it's been raining, it's the middle of January. Um, bound to get something on the screen, in the lens. Normally really, really busy. People out tragic. Burbage rocks on the left, fantastic. Baldrick solo in spot. So one of the first things to notice is that Green Drive is no longer green. Um, a few years ago, Eastern Moors Council worked hard to make it more accessible, wheelchair bound people and the like. So it's now got more of a sandy base and it's a lot smoother. Perfect for beginners. Coming past on your right. Thank you. Cheers. It's coming past on your left, mate. Thank you. So the story has it that uh, the Green Drive was first built by the Duke of Rutland so he could take his carriages with him when he went hunting in the valley. Thanks a lot. So he could take a number of female companions with him to keep him entertained between kills. That's local legend, it might not be true at all. Pretty soaking today, I have to be honest. But it has got that sandy base, so it's quite good in, in bad weather. It's not impassable. As some other tracks in the peak are at this time of year. Thank you. Probably not that good for shooting at the minute with the sun in that direction as it is, but it drops. You can see the track now dropping down to Longshore. The forest on the right was deforested in 2014, 15, I think it was. Um, Dense conifers, no good for ecosystems. Japanese larch, uh, not local species, so it's been replanted. Crikey, that's blinding, that sun. Uh, and they're monitoring how the local ecosystems, ecosystems are doing, much better apparently. More like an upper heathland now than dense conifer. Drop down to the right here, the elbow, and it does start to go down a little bit more. A bit of fun on the stone. Thank you. Or you don't have to get involved at all to make it nice and steady. with a speed up. And then 
in this bottom section here, being the lens again, bottom section here was made a lot flatter for the logging trucks to get in and out. Which is a bit of a shame. I think they just need to do just a little bit of work on some of these bumps and bumps. You could have wraps. Green Drive, and it's great fun. It's great fun at any, whatever standard you are, whatever, whatever level. And as I said before, it links together a lot of other good loops, beginners loops, loops between more technical sections. It's it's great. And since it's been made permissible and accessible, you might get a few comments. But it is a bridleway. It's rideable and it has been for the last few years. Green Drive.